Rent price hikes are slowing but are outpacing home price increases. This is an amazing article. If you're in the rental market, man, you guys are, you know, it is hitting you hard, hard, hard. I think this is almost criminal what's going on, but there's a little bit of good news. Basically, what we're seeing is finally here. Here's the little quote. Let me read it. Big rent hikes may finally be coming to an end as landlords adjust to warning tenants budgets and they're being that are being strained by the, ri uh, the rising cost of groceries, gas, and other regular expenses. Still, rents are increasing faster and then overall inflation, which has started to ease. So as you see what's happening, guys, okay, inflation is raging. And landlords really just took advantage of the situation, right? They saw the rent was going up and they started like, you know, raising the rent on their tenants. The problem is, guys, that we're being strained, that, you know, our, com our community, is being strained quite a bit. And when you think about, you know, renters, usually they're going to be the most vulnerable. The problem is the renters in general, they you they need they want to move into home ownership and it's becoming so expensive, you know, to get that down payment. And now that with inflation, everything is so expensive, they're not able to save at the same um, rate, right? So that's a huge, huge problem because we do not want to have an economy of renters, guys. That is the number one thing. We want to have an economy, a, um, a community of homeowners. Because remember, home buying and owning a home is pretty much the best way to build wealth, build generational wealth. You know, you could pass it down to your family. And that's how you you better the lives of, of the people in our family, but also the community, right? It's very, very important. Again, you know, when you're looking at the housing market, you know, you got to take into, uh, into you got to factor in the renters. You know, we want renters to be able to be buying homes, especially for the first time. It's a big, big deal. And unfortunately, the way I'm seeing it right now with how much, you know, landlords are charging right now, almost criminal right i just it's just slowing down that process and i don't like it i really really don't like it but you know what like i said things are getting better now in big cities like this little quote right says you know we have strong job growth and limited uh, new housing construction again we have when we have a lot of jobs and we don't have that much options for housing, it makes everything more expensive, right? Here's another quote. With the rental vacancy rate continuing near its historic low during the pandemic, in which just 5.7 to 6.8 of rental housing units are vacant at any point in time compared to 7% or more, historically, renters are contending with limited supply and access demand that leads upward pressure on rent. In 2002, we expect this trend will continue and fuel rent growth at a national level. We forecast rent growth of 7.1% in the next 12 months, someone ahead of home price growth as rent continues to rebound from slower growth earlier in the pandemic. I don't really know how long this is going to last. I don't know how long, how much, you know, uh, landlords could really push rents to higher levels. It seems like everyone that I know that is renting is is being priced out. They It's so expensive. They're thinking of even leaving certain cities because rent has jumped so much uh, so quickly. I know in Miami, I have a friend that said, hey, you know what? I can't live here anymore. You know, I'm going to go move my business to another city. I cannot afford to rent. And that's a huge, huge problem, right? Um, that And that, you know what? That just goes to show that it's just, they're taking advantage of a lot of people. And it might be one of the catalysts that basically brings down the economy. Again, if you, we are, you know, sucking the money out of some of the most mo vulnerable people in our community, well, we need those people to spend money so, you know, we could have good GDP growth. If people are spending most of their money on rent, guess what? It's not going to help us out. And it's going to, you know, slow the growth and possibly cause, you know, market crash. So again, I'm not... You know, this is a glimmer of good hope for people that are renting. They, you know, prices are, you know, slightly, you know, getting better. But again, they're incredibly inflated. So even though they're not growing as fast, they're too high to begin with. So it's messed up already. And that's, to me, it's a huge, huge problem. Now, I get that we have high employment and that's basically what's fueling it. But 
the prices cannot sustain themselves at this high level. And we, in my opinion, and we're we're basically like on a train or like we're like driving a car really, really fast and it's got a nail on the on the tire and it's about to pop, right? And it hasn't popped yet. And we're like, yeah, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. But the truth is at any moment we can see a big, big crash and that's not going to be good. Now, it is going to lower the prices on things, which is not bad for anybody looking to buy a house, but it is going to bring a lot of pain. Let's see how it all, you know, uh, let's see how it all, all the cards fall, right? Let's see what the inflation report says, you know, in a few weeks. Let's see if inflation is coming down. Hopefully it is coming down, then that would show that basically everything is working. If it doesn't come down, yeah, we're in real big, big trouble. I hope I'm hoping for the best, but again, we're still in a housing bubble, guys. It's way too expensive, and something has to give. That's my personal opinion, and I know a lot of you guys agree with me. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this video. I want to say thank you guys so much. There's been you guys have been watching my videos, leaving comments, liking them. Thank you, it means so much to me. If you're new to my channel and you like what I have to say, please don't forget to smash that subscribe button and go ahead and like and leave a comment. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you on the next video.